You know what's a big slice of Sonic games? The music. If I had to guess, I'd say that's a massive reason why the franchise has persisted for as long as it has. Outside of a few exceptions, Sonic has always pushed the envelope when it comes to video game music, with a wide variety of genres and an impressively consistent level of quality. Why then do the recently revealed Sonic Forces songs feel… off? The comparison I hear the most, and the one I immediately made upon hearing the music, is that the song sounds fan-made, so first we should examine what that means. I'm not interested in putting anyone on blast here, so I won't be using examples, but a hallmark of all but the best fan songs is strange lyrics. For example, translations of anime lyrics that are too literal, or messing with the flow of the whole song just to fit a specific word in. Another is amateur vocalists, but while I've seen this brought up by others when it comes to the Sonic Forces soundtrack, I think they're all fine. So as far as I'm concerned, the issue here is lyrics. Let's start by looking at the first song officially released, Park Avenue Custom Mix. This is a level theme, in the same vein as similar songs like Escape from the City from Sonic Adventure 2. I think this song works best to frame the problem that persists through all of the music in Sonic Forces, at least what's been revealed so far. The lyrics are too literal. The song starts off with the phrase, Here come the enemy, strike them down. referring directly to an action and opposing force. It's followed by, We can't let evil win, take them out. The first bit is basically the same as the first lyric, talking about an opposing force and telling the listener to defeat them in some way. The next lyric is, Here comes the enemy, mess them up. At this point, you should notice a trend. The entire song is about the basic idea of fighting specifically against enemies. This plays during a city level that's under attack by robots. In other words, the song is a literal description of what you're doing. Now here's the counter. People will argue that this isn't unusual, that there are songs like Escape from the City, which also directly describe events from the level. The thing is, this is true, but it's different. Escape from the City opens with Rolling around at the speed of sound And the chorus is Follow me, set me free Trust me and we will escape from the city These are pretty clearly related to the events at hand. However, they stop short of being literal. Instead, the lyrics work in service of conveying the idea that you have to escape, go fast, and maybe there's a level of urgency. It avoids describing things. There's no mention of the people chasing him, why he has to escape. You just know that there's only one thing to do. Park Avenue does change things up midway through, though switching to a female vocalist that's more reminiscent of the soundtrack of Sonic R, as in, exactly similar. But I think it suffers from the opposite problem. Both songs sound like self-help books, and honestly that's true of most Sonic music, but Park Avenue is so vague to the point of meaninglessness. Unlike the earlier lyrics, it has no bearing on the level. Instead, it's a generic cheer to the listener. You can do it. So that's the preamble, but this forms the core for the other revealed songs. Fist Bump, the main theme, and the theme of the game's villain, Infinite. With Fist Bump, I'm actually kind of amazed how redundant the lyrics are. I count 13 of the 26 lyrics being a variant on working together as a team. I can't do this alone, need something more than me, someone to push me to the dream. Let's see what we can do, together me and you. No looking back, you and I were on the attack. Such a different feeling, both of us believing we can make it better. Together we can show the world what we can do. Just like Park Avenue, it's a very literal song, describing exactly what you're going to do in the game, sprinkled with some optimistic you-can-do-it type phrases. Again, there's just no abstraction like there is present in other Sonic songs. Honestly, most lyrical Sonic music sounds like something that could have been licensed because it fit the game so well, rather than being something that was made just for the game.
of songs that specifically mention characters or terms from the games reminds me more of when movies get a popular musician to make a song for them. So sometimes I hear a key phrase, but otherwise it's mostly just their own song. Meanwhile, the theme of Infinite is literally the villain, Infinite, describing himself in first person. Cause if you're messing with me, I am a dangerous weapon. I am the sharpest of blades, I'll cut you down in a second. Cause I was born in this pain, it only hurts if you let it. So but really, this song is the least egregious. It's a lot like E-G-G-M-A-N, the theme of Eggman. It's a bit more literal, but on its own it's not offensive. It's just that when put next to the other two songs it starts to become a trend. Where with old Sonic songs, when listening divorced to context, there's nothing that really pins them down. These songs can be more than just the backdrop to a level. They're evocative, vague but with a purpose. See, here's the basic gist of it. Sonic songs don't exist to tell you what to think, they exist to show you how to feel. Hey, to reach inside. 